So you want to know about the map controller and UEFN and every way how to use it? Let's get started. Let's start off real simple, all right? How do we get this device? Well, go into your content drawer, search up map controller. It doesn't really fall gaps like I am, but let's bring it out. This is it. This is the device you'll need. Now, at first glance, this little rectangle with some arrows or whatever, whatever that means. And you can see this little, little view thing in the bottom right. What is this? You're probably wondering. Well, this is the preview for the map. And if I were to, I don't know, change the thing, you can see that. Oh my god. We've got our entire map. So you, you see there's two options here. Map capture box size and map capture box height. So these will dictate the areas of where you can capture, you know, your map. Like make sure you have every single bit of your thing. I mean, every bit, every last bit. There we go. Or if you look on the side, you can do, I mean, out of this, put it above your map. You can see how there's like at the very top, there's little arrows. But there's always the basically anything on the opposite face. So like this face below it, it'll get captured by the controller. So when these little corners, you can see that we're not really, it's not really filled in. So you can probably tell if the volume isn't covering the entire thing. So what you want to make sure is that your volume is fully over or in or whatever you want to do your, your map. So if you're doing it over, it's like that. If you're doing it in, as you can see, if you, you, you oh, intersect the where, where like this plane hits, so all of this over the map will be black or whatever because it's not being loaded. But if you increase the height, as you can see, a little bit more actually. There you go. As you can see, it's fixed. Now, uh, let's just go over some of the settings, and then we'll get we'll get we'll get into the fancy stuff. All right. But first, we gotta go over all this. Activate automatically basically means uh, on game start when your player or any player loads into the game. Well, this will automatically become their mini map. So once they load in. They'll see this on the mini map. Uh, this is like different. This is on activate and trigger. Okay, so you kind of wanna if you have this, it, this will basically uh, well, the way it works, it's kind of like a mutator zone where they'll it'll track if people are entering or exiting the uh the the map. So if I'm out here, I won't have the mini map for this, but if I go inside of it, I'll have the mini map for it. If that makes sense. You can also have this on if you want to just have it on by default. But if the player leaves this zone, they'll lose the mini map. We're just gonna skip map priority for now because it's a bit. Uh, well, we'll get into it later. A uh, full frame mini map basically means if you click this, your mini map will be this. It'll just be the image, all right? So you'll see every single part of it. But if you turn that off, it'll be more like battle royale. You know how like there's a main battle royale map and your mini map is like a like just a smaller section of the map. It's like more zoomed in. Basically, that's what mini map zoom factor does. So if you if you put this in like the ten, uh, if you if you just imagine it, your mini map will be a little bit closer. And I'll actually show you right now, as you can probably tell. If you look at my mini map on top right. This is the mini map at one uh, mapping scale, so or mini mapping scale, whatever it is. Uh, and as you tell, it's a probably it's a bit too big. So, so th now this is the mini map at a zoom factor of ten. As you can probably tell, it's a lot more closer in and a lot more like a mini map. So you can obviously increase it to you can make it as much as you like, depending on how much you want your players to see on their mini map at the same time. So you make the entire map, or you can just make it uh, a single thing. And this is it with the full frame mini map option on instead of the mapping scale. As you can see, you can see the entire in the entirety of the map in your top right, which is very very useful. Very very useful. This is good in combination with priorities to make like battle royale. Like if you're on spawn island, you can preview the entire map in the top right. Or if you press M, by going down the little map, you can see right here. Uh, we'll go, we'll go over um, a few more things, and then we might be talking about priority then. So back into U of N. Enable a game start just makes it so it's enable a game start or not. So if, uh, you know, the zone is enabled or not. So if you go into the zone, it'll be enabled. That makes sense. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can also enable or disable using channels. So if you were to, or not channels, oh, silly me, that's some, some, some old thinking, you know, because I've been, I mean, I mean events, events, yeah, yeah, events, anything or whatever. Okay. So basically, uh, during that, uh, applies to team is pretty self-explanatory if you were to make it so team index. It'll only apply to the team in the index. If you make it so it's inverted, it'll only apply to everything else but the team, if that makes sense. Same thing with the classes and everything. If we're going over with the classes. Uh, close to math capture is, we're going to get into that later. Uh, active for player. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if there's an event, it'll activate for the player. Make sure though, if you're doing for this, you have to have an instigator. So it needs to have like a new Twitter zone being triggered by a singular player, which will then go into this. Same with the activate for the player. Uh, you don't need a new Twitter zone for activate for all though, because that's for every single player. So you don't need an instigator. Same with the activate for all. So 
let's basically go to the settings. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about some of the more complex things, all right? Some of the more advanced things, all right? Uh, this first one, uh, let's go, it's not really that advanced. But if you want to make, uh, you need a map indicator, okay? This is how you make little POIs and stuff on your map. I think game this is what it is. It's a map indicator. So as you can see on my map right now, there's a little icon with a little A symbol. That is how you, you can change that a bunch. All right, with all these different levels. I'll show you how it, how to do that. Uh, the icon. If you want to make select an icon, you can either go into the little icon, and there's a bunch of different preset options for uh, like you know, I can get this thing, like the diamond or something. You have a little diamond as your little icon, you can see the top left there, the top right. Or, if you're in U UEFN, you click on your little thing. How would you pick it a thing in UEFN? Well, uh, you want to search up? You can go into this little search thing if you click on it. And you, if you type in T underscore UI, you get all the different textures for all the different UI things that we just found in, in Fortnite Creative. Grab like, I don't know, this little, little winky face. <laughs> And if you were to, you just want to copy this and paste it into this one. Uh, icon color is just picking the color. Regular old Fortnite creative, you pick from a set list. And then UFN, you pick from like a, you pick, you pick from a color, color picker. So you can do like, re get really custom with it. The text is uh, pretty important if you want to make like names or POIs. So if you want to call something like the, the castle or something. <laughs> As you can see on the map, it now says at the castle above the icon. Also, you can make the icon bigger or smaller if you want. Or not not smaller, but you can make it two times as big if you want to be more, uh, you know, more, you know, like, uh, obvious. So as you can see, it's a lot bigger now on my map. Oh, what you can also do, you can make it so it only is on overview. So it, this is like a name POI. And you don't really want it on your mini map because it kind of clutters it a little bit. What you want to do is uh, turn this on. And then your minimap won't have the thing. Or you can do it just for minimap. So your main map won't have it. So if it's more of a smaller thing that doesn't matter for the big map, you can turn on for only the minimap. And you can also do it for both. Assign team, all that I just explained earlier. Just uh yeah. <laughs> Object pulse. Um this is a cool thing where uh if you have it you need you need an instigator, or you can actually this friendly players this also works. Friendly players are just people who have the thing enabled. Basically, what this can do, this is actually kind of useful. Um, even if you're not making a map, even if you're just making like uh, like a regular game mode. Okay, for so so uh, I got this tomato guy. Okay, just uh, just so he be there. And what we can do with this little feature is you can if you add a little trigger, we'll just make it so when you trigger that, it'll activate the object object pulse. If you remember from earlier, I, our thing would be right there. So if I click on this, if I jump on this, as you can see, you have a little. Thing that's now pointing always to our map indicator device. All right, so let's start with some of the advanced stuff. Let's start about prioritization. Our right, prioritization. So once we're back in our little map controller, we go right here. There's a thing called map priority, and now basically what this basically is is uh, depending on where the players, well, anything with higher priority will be higher prioritized above other things. Okay, so this is how you make like if you want to make an interior building have a, their own map. This is how you do it, or a cave or something, or like anything that's like a different kind of map. This is how you would do it. So, um, you kind of want your big base map to have zero priority because this is going to be like the base layer, okay? And if you imagine it like lines, and like there's like a bottom line that's our base map, and then above it is like on the second layer or priority, or not the second layer, it's not on the first priority, and that'll be like our interiors, and then maybe you have another layer that's like your second floors of your interiors, or you can even have more and more and more if you want. <laughs> you get pretty in depth, but it doesn't have to be an open world. It can be like just like a linear thing. But let me show you how it works. So to really make this work, we're gonna need two of the map devices. So we'll have we'll get one of these. So it's gonna be our second map device. And if I were to just put it here, maybe let's make a little house, okay? Okay, so we've got our little beautiful prefab here, and now we're just gonna put our map onto it. It's basically, uh, you can do it on active on trigger instead of it automatically. So if somebody were to walk into this little zone, they would see the map. And basically, what we want to do is make this priority instead of zero zero, make it one, okay? So when it's one, it'll be if somebody walks into this zone, even when they're inside of this bigger one, it'll be prioritized more. In a sense. So this will swap to this map. If they leave, it'll swap back to this. Map. Okay, so as you can see, we're really in the game. You and our, our little map thing, if you remember, is right there. So you walk into it. If you look, now our map is swapped to the interior of the building. That makes sense. So if you leave the building, it's not back to normal. And now, the thing about this is that if you want, you can have a map 
Like, you know, inside a map. 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 map. It gets pretty crazy, got it? It goes on infinitely. Well, not really infinitely. Until the smallest size of the map. But you know what I mean. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, here comes the moment you've all been waiting for. How do we make a custom map, alright? Something that looks really cool and different. Well, I'll tell you. So, there's a few steps to this, okay? So, what we want to try and do is, what, see this bottom right image? We want to make it a lot cooler, you know? Make it have some cool effects or something. Like, make it have, like, you know, make it look a lot better, you know? So, I'll, tell, I'll show you how to do that. One thing that people don't know is that the way the mapping works is that you remember earlier when I was talking about how, like, the, those arrow things, and if they look, they're, the face on the bottom is basically like like a camera giant like like you know like thing that like tr like you know sh shows the map basically well there's some things that people don't know and it's this basically what you can do this is the dark arts all right you can turn it <gasps> you see that now we have a little angle our map is being seen on an angle in if that makes sense it's kind of sick you see that if i'd make it a little bit smaller our map we have a sideways map isn't that cool isn't it so cool if i were to go in game and you can see that it's so cool look at that it's, it's kind of sick it's like a 3d mini map uh and it also tracks your player location pretty well too so if i'm on it, it, you can see where i am on the map it's it's accurately showing where i am if that makes sense so it's pretty sick so if i were all like you know i was on that big mountain over there i'll be on the big mountain in the in 3d mini map and if i were to uh if i if i were to change the scaling so as you can probably tell uh, you now have some, <laughs> your entire mini-map is now, like, tilted sideways. So you have this cool, like, you know, little, like, angle now. You can see this cliff and everything, and these trees, like, you know, like, you know. You can see everything! It looks cool. Okay, so, it, this is cool and all, but how do we make a custom map, alright, that I can, I can, I can, I can have, like, my own design and everything on? Well, I'll show you. So, basically, you want to turn on this option down here, called Custom Map Texture. You click this on, you see there's none, okay? So, if you on this, you're probably wondering, where the hell is the map texture I need? Well, I'll tell you. So, it's a pretty simple process, okay? So, if you go below Functions, you can find this thing called Capture Map Image. And basically, what this will do is whatever your whatever the, is in this little, little box right here will become an image. And you'll be able to find it in your files and you will edit it. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in just in a sec. But uh, just to make sure, if, when you're taking your image, okay, make sure your graphics are not on low. If, if you have it on default low, your map's gonna look. This is what your map's actually gonna look in the image, okay? So you don't you don't want to look bad. So you, even if for a second. Put your graphics on epic if you can, and you can have the best map quality. So your map doesn't look bad. Okay, I don't know what's going on there with all the shadows. We'll just ignore that. I'll always get on high because that's what I usually you know, have it on. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just click this little button. And now we have a map image. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell did I do? I did literally nothing. I don't know what, what even happened. Well, you have to do something first. So once you, you know, get your thing done, uh, you want to go into your documents, your PC, okay? Uh, or whatever you have. I'm guessing you have a PC. <laughs> And uh, you want to go into this PC. Uh, ignore how uh, little space I have. Um, just ignore all this because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to DDoS myself. So all you want to do is copy this in, okay? This right here. Users, your name, app data, local, Unreal Editor for Night Saves, Microsoft Maps, okay? And obviously change this little URL to uh your name or whatever user you're on your PC. So whatever your username on your documents or whatever on PC. In your, in, your, in your folders or whatever. This re type, just get rid of this. Just change it to like Steve, if that's your name. If that makes sense. <laughs> and once you search that up, you'll see this little image right here. Click on it. As you can see, your image of your map is here. And it's the exact same thing you saw in the bottom left here in Unreal. So, how do we make this stuff cool, you know? Uh, just now, you can do, do whatever you want with this, okay? Add, add like text to the top or something, or add like, you know, anything, anything. It doesn't really matter. Anything works. I'm just going to make it so it's uh, a lot more saturated. Uh, maybe a bit more uh, <laughs> like this color or something. Maybe it's green. I'll add a weird like filter to it. There we go. My green map. Well, I like uh, my map land here or something. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just save this. And it will save the map in the same location where you found it. And now what you got to do is go back into Unreal. Go into content drawer, go into your little like folder where you like import stuff. You gotta click on import. Uh hopefully it's just so it's just what you just have to go back 
to where you were uh, and, and your image will now look like this. So you bring it in and now you have a new image. That will be the texture that you want to put into custom app texture. And if you put that into there, it will now, as you can probably tell, all right, it works. Look at it. It's a, <laughs> it's a beautiful map, okay? Yeah, listen, it's not, I, I, know, I know it's bad, all right? But trust me, okay? if you actually spend your time making it look nice, it, it's a, it, it goes a long way, all right? I just, this is just purely for example's sake, okay? So yeah, so uh, that's pretty much the tutorial. That's pretty much all you can really do with this device. It's pretty useful for many things. You can like do like a lot of stuff with it. Even if you're not making a battle royale, you can do it for like side scrolls. So yeah, this tutorial is pretty much done. If you want more tutorials, watch this on a video now, okay? Watch this on a video now. And also subscribe. Okay, well, thanks, subscribe, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you around. I'll see you around.